Kevin Everett is the former Buffalo Bills football player that suffered a massive spinal cord injury one year ago and left the field paralyzed. However, thanks to recent innovations in the treatment of spinal cord injury, Kevin is now walking and almost fully recovered. This miraculous recovery is the result of new therapies for spinal cord injury, developed in part from re research by the Bonaconti Fund to Cure Paralysis. The 23rd Annual Legends of Sport fundraiser was held at the Waldorf, and we interviewed the Chief of Neurosurgery at the University of Miami, Dr. Barth Green, co-founder of the Foundation. Dr. Green, can you summarize for us the major therapeutic advances in spinal cord injury that have led to successes like Kevin Everett? Well, the Kevin Everett um, is the culmination of about 25 years of research uh, using uh, control of body temperature to affect uh, the secondary changes after heart attacks and strokes and brain injury and spinal cord injury. And right now we're thrilled that this original work for what's called modest hypothermia um, is uh, now uh, a guideline in cardiology so that every hospital in the world now is using hypothermia for cardiac arrest. That work started at the Miami Project and, and, and University of Miami. And it started out as basic science showing that a very minor lowering of temperature could protect the body's tissues. And most recently, Kevin Everett was an off-label use uh, by his physician who heard a lecture about the work we're doing under what's called IRB control under research guidance. But we're doing a prospective study. We're almost done with phase one. We're going to start phase two with a multi-center trial. And the idea is a very old one. But what they found out, and, and, and about 2,500 years later, um, also the Buddhist monks found out, was that hypothermia slows down the body, protects the body from injury. And that same simple concept is what we used with, with what we're using with patients. Uh, initially, heart attacks, and now strokes, brain injuries, and spinal cord injuries. But it's still experimental. It's not evidence-based medicine, but we're working hard to establish that. What areas of research are you working on now? But the most exciting thing is transplantation of what we call Schwann cells, which are insulating cells back into the spinal cord and reestablishing function by using a combination of medications and the transplanted cells. And the most, I think, extraordinary part of it is they're not stem cells. So we don't have to worry about them becoming tumors or, or making something they should make and they're not rejected because it's a patient's own nerve. We take the sural nerve from the ankle and we take the Schwann cells out of there and they're amazing cells that insulate the axons or wires of the nervous system and they also stimulate growth and regeneration. So the combination of the cells and certain pharmacological agents was a home run in the laboratory and we've taken it up one level and now we're ready for human testing. So we're very excited.